quickly let's make a change in our user interface labels here we do have a label label hits that shows the uh, text hits and we have a label that shows the score in here so instead of calling that uh, score as hits let's rename it to hits score and press ok and let's do the same thing for the number of misses let's click rename and I'm going to remove misses I'm just going to put miss score so when I look at these words hit score and miss score it makes more sense than just hits and misses So let's get started. So now the first thing that we need to do is add a behavior for moving the mole. So now we are going to move the mole and uh, when I want to create a procedure called uh, move mole, I want to move the mole to random locations on my screen. So I'm going to create a procedure called move mole and every time the user touches the mole once per second, we get a hit score. So before we get started to create the move mole, let's understand our canvas and the X and Y coordinates. To understand how to make the mole move, we need to take a look at how the graphics work. We talk about canvas or the screen, we can th think about it as a grid with X axis and the Y axis. X axis is the horizontal that goes from left to right and y-axis is the vertical that goes from top to bottom. And x-axis, the coordinates begins with the top um, 0 and 0, the upper left corner are 0 and 0, and then it keeps increasing as we move from left to right. Same thing with our vertical y-axis, it begins with the top 0, 0, and the y increases as we keep moving down. So we need to determine the mole is going to move to the width of the canvas and the height of the canvas. But at the same time, if we want the mole to be inside the canvas, we need to make sure we need to know the width of the canvas, that is the fill parent, and we need to subtract it with the width of the image so that a sprite is inside the canvas. We need to do the same thing for the height, the y-axis. So I'm going to know the height of my canvas, that is 300 pixels, and I'm going to subtract it with the height of the sprite, that's 50 pixels. So 300 minus 50 would be 250. That would be my y location. So I'm going to get the width minus the width of the sprite that would be my x coordinate and my y coordinate is going to be the height of the canvas minus the height of the sprite now we want the mold to be randomly placed so let's go ahead and bake this behavior i'm going to go to blocks And I want to create a procedure, so I'm going to click on Procedures uh, block, and I'm going to drag the first one and drop it in here. And I'm going to give the name of my procedure as Move Mole. And I want the mole to move, so I'm going to go select the mole, and I want the mole move to that's over here. And I want this action to happen, call mole move to at x and y coordinates. So I'm going to drag this and attach it in here. Now I need to know my x coordinate. But before we know the x coordinate, I need to make sure that I'm moving the mole random location in my canvas. So I need to use the math. So I'm going to go to math and I'm going to look for random integers between 1 to 100. I'm going to drag this and drop it in place of x coordinate and my initial value is going to be 0 that's the starting the topmost left corner of the canvas and I'm going to delete the hundred from here drag this and drop it in my trash bin 
the reason I'm doing that is, remember we talked about uh, the x coordinate, that's this. We need the width of the canvas. We need the width of the canvas. And we need to subtract it with the width of the image sprite. So that's why I removed that block in here. And I'm going to go to math. I need a subtraction block. So I'm going to drag this and attach it here. So this would be my canvas width minus the sprite width. So I'm going to go to canvas and I'm going to look for the width. Here it is, canvas.width and I'm going to attach it here. And then in here I'm going to say mole.width. So I'm going to go to mole and mole.width. I'm going to drag this and drop it here. Now the next thing I want to do is for y coordinate. We'll do the same thing. We'll go to math and we'll find the random integer from 1 to 100. And here I'm going to say 0 and I'm going to remove the 100. So I'm going to go to math and I'm going to look for the subtraction block. And now I'm going to go to canvas. I need the height of the canvas. That's here. And then I'm going to subtract it with the mole's height. Select mole and look for mole height. That's here. Now that we have created a procedure called move mole, we need to use that procedure. So it's very common as programmer, we want something to happen once we start the app. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go to screen, and I'm going to look for initialize event. So when screen1.initialize happens, we want something to do. So I'm going to drag this block and drop it in here. So as a programmer, whenever my app starts, I want the mole to move. So I created a procedure, move mole, and as soon as my game starts, my screen is initialized, I want move mole procedure to be called. So I'm going to go to procedures, and I have my call for move mode. I'm going to drag this and drop it here. By doing this, I'm initializing my screen one to call the move mole procedure that will make the mole randomly appear on the screen. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to move the mole every second. In order to do that, I will have to use the clock component. So I'm going to go to my clock, click on the clock. So when I click on clock one, I'm going to drag this event when clock one dot timer happens, do something. So I'm going to drag this and drop it in here. When clock one timer is happening, what do we want? We want the mole to move every one second. I'm going to go to procedures and I'm going to drag this procedure that we created. I'm going to call move mole here. Now right now we haven't specified any time for the clock, but if we go to designer and look into our components and select clock, you will see the time interval says 1000. So this is um, milliseconds and 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So every one second the mole is moving on the canvas. So now let's test and see if my app is working correctly or not. So now let's test to see if our mole is moving at random location in our canvas. So we have a title screen here, whack a mole. We have a mole which is randomly moving across the screen. We have a hits label, initial score is zero. We have a misses label, the initial score is zero. And we have the reset button. So our basic move mole procedure is complete and 
the mole is moving at random location. Next, let's uh, keep track of our scores, the number of hits on the mole and the number of miss on the mole. And then we'll also reset the button to initialize our hits and misses score to zero.